are still at Dinosaur National Monument, and it just uh, got cloudy here a couple hours ago. It was still uh, really hot today. We had to actually run the air conditioner because it got pretty hot, but this storm is coming in. It's lightning over there. Pretty ominous cloud. Still pretty though. Did you just see lightning? I did, just right in the valley there. And it was like a branch off lightning, not just like a bolt. Like... Yeah, that's always cool. Yeah. Oh, I can hear the thunder. You guys probably can't hear the thunder, but it is, uh, you can hear it way out in the distance. Tomorrow we are leaving Dinosaur National Monument, so Scotty's putting the... Putting the 40 <laughs> Looks... devices Oh, I, I was going to say you have a tail going on there. I see what you're doing. That opens it up. <laughs> this looks like a lot of rain. Hopefully I shouldn't, or maybe I should leave these uh, blown up. <laughs> Guess we got to get out of here. <laughs> Your flotation devices. <laughs> oh, never know. Goodness. <laughs> Sounds fun. Should be out washing the truck off. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy out there. They're like big raindrops. Too. Yeah. You, when they hit you, you know it. <laughs> well, the lightning is just incredible. And the wind kicked up really bad. Knocked my tripod over. <laughs> and I think it broke our hatch, actually. But Scotty, will, Scotty will look at it tomorrow. It ripped our hatch right open. Mm -hmm. So Live and learn. Yep, that's it. All yeah. right. One more night here and we're on our way northwest the the thing is is that it's so warm here still that now we have all the windows shut because i got them all open oh i am shut them. up here because it was the water was oh. coming in the windows that's right true yeah oh crazy mm -hmm. all right guys we'll see you guys tomorrow well they've got a really nice trail that you can walk uh here on the campground the river trail there's a few rules and regulations and stuff for your safety and there's the information anyways we are heading out of dinosaur national monument we didn't really explore the trails and uh, at different areas as much as jimmy did scotty and i really kind of just relaxed a lot while we were here which i think we kind of needed um Okay. Sometimes when you're on the road as much as you as we are, it um, you kind of need a break from it. You need a vacation from the vacation. But this is just a really nice park, very quiet. Uh, the hosts are very friendly. The rangers are very friendly. They do have, like we said, bathrooms here. No running water. Uh, there's running water in the bathroom, but not potable water. And. We're going to go check some things out before we do head out of here and go up to the visitor center. And then we're going to take off. Jimmy's going to take off first. He, we are going to split up for the day. He's going to go ahead and go um, to the next location and we'll meet him there. So we won't travel all together today. And then we'll meet up with Mick and Colleen as well, I believe. So. All right, we'll see you guys uh, in the park here somewhere. No, but you got a little squirrel that uh, wants to go traveling with you, Jimmy. You don't need a dog. You just need a squirrel. What you doing, little guy? I'll tell you, they're, they're not afraid of uh, humans here. Okay, he's... He might jump up in your van there, Jim. Oh, oh wait, he's... <laughs> oh, he's looking. Is your side door open? Yeah. 
Oh, I think he. Oh. <laughs> They're not as brazen as the ones in Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's playing possum. What is it? The little squirrel. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he was a little bit more afraid than the other ones. <laughs> They're just everywhere. <laughs> Well, this is the other campground. Not a whole lot of people in there. And the water looks a little bit more muckier than what we were uh, playing in. And I think that's a boat launch down there. It's a pretty big uh, area for camping and during the weekdays doesn't seem very full. Look at that massive area over here.
careful out here. I want to break the rules. Oh, there's some right there. Look like aliens to me. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> wow. I've seen a few of these on our travels and they always amaze me every single time. See a little one. What do you think, Scott? I think I'm going with this deduction. One of them brought a ladder up here because it reeked all the way up there. <laughs> He's the smart one. <laughs> they look like aliens. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, there's one up here too. That's uh, oh there, oh it's there. Do you see the big one right mm -hmm. there? I didn't see that. The sun is really bright, so I'm not really sure what you guys are gonna be able to see. It's hard for me to see what you guys are seeing. Really neat. Fuzzy. And he's running, man. Whew. He's very hairy and deadly looking to me. Red means stay away. <laughs> yeah. All right, we are going to get back in the truck and turn the air conditioner on and take you guys on down the road.